Hey guys, good morning. I'm excited. Look at my brows. Woohoo. <laughs> it's going to be one of those non twin days. No, I'm absolutely going to finish this brow out for you this morning because I tried to figure out um, something different I could do with my brows that maybe. If you did not have any gel or something and you wanted to set them, what would I set them with? And I got to looking around and I thought, well, you know, this is a perfect thing to do. And I did it on this one already and I really loved it. Um, it didn't take me long to figure out that this is probably going to be one of my go-tos. Um, <clears throat> especially if I'm in a hurry and I already have uh, the stuff out. It was just so easy and quick to get it done. So, let me show you. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going away. And I do have a pretty bold eye today, so I went really neutral on the lips. Absolutely neutral. I just put on some um, um, lip liner, pouty, and I used Upscale. A really light, kind of pink, shimmer lipstick. Very, 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 very pretty. I love this color. Pretty color. But... Let me get on to the brows, because <clears throat> I know we all got to go to work like me, right? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. The things I'm going to use uh, to do my brow, to get it like this one, and you can see mine are really sparse. There's um, a missing uh, hairs through here, and as we age, that just happens. It's, it just happens, and um, but we can fix it. We can. Temporarily, anyway. <laughs> Unless you go do a tattoo. I don't know how that works. Um, and I'd be afraid of the needles and the tattoo stuff going on there. But this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, my pencil. This is the color Prim, and it is a an eye pencil. And I'm going to take um, take it, and I'm going to to line my eyes with it. But first, what I'm going to do is use my little spoolie tool right here, and what you and you want to get your brows going. Let's see if I can do this in this. You want to get your brows, you want to brush them down like this. So when you brush them down, you can actually see <laughs> the bald spots better. Or, in my opinion, you can see the bald spots better. So let me get my mirror here and see if I can. Well, that's not going to be. I don't have a good light, so I'm just going to wing it here. What I want to do is start, remember I've got to start over here in this corner, and I've got to bring my line. I always start going across the top, right through here. And here's where my brow is, I mean my brow is going to end right there. Get my lines right. Get with it, Lisser. Okay. So there's the top part. So I've got it started now. I'm getting more definition. As you can see, I'm, it's lifting my eye already. Because your, your eyebrows do define your face. They just do. And you want them to be nat as natural looking as they can be. And here, I like to make little bitty strokes going up to kind of mimic little hairs. Because <laughs> that's where I'm missing them right there. I'm missing them there. So let's come across the bottom, and and what I'll do is end up filling in the center. See? So now we're almost there. We're almost there. So what we're going to do is keep going. I'm going to fill in everything through here, right through there. Are they looking like twins? They kind of sort of are. Alrighty, let me get it just a little more through there. There, now I think, yeah, they look even. Now, the next thing you want to do, and since this is a pencil, um, you know, it they have to set, so we want to do this kind of quick. I want to take my spoolie, and I want to comb it out, comb it back up, and see if there's any place I've missed that I need to hit. And I don't think there is in this one. There we go. Now, the trick to setting them, if you do not have any gel, 
is taking your angle brush right here and this is my shader liner brush one end is shader one end is the angle um, <clears throat> for the liner and I'm going to take a little bit of forthright I'm going to use a a uh, eye pig I'm mean, not eye pigment but an eyeshadow to set it so I'm going to come across right where I just put all that pencil and I'm going to lightly just go across it a little bit across there on the top and this will fill in any bald spots <laughs> that you may have now they match yay so that looks pretty good looks pretty good I think I got one little spot here I need to do you know I can't leave something undone there we go now they match perfectly I have twins <laughs> but one other thing I like to do underneath my brow to really define it is I take a little bit of my concealer and you know I love this stuff I use it every day I've got to order some more of this this is a color velour it's two two shades lighter than my foundation so my foundation is chiffon so I use uh, the skin perfecting concealer in the color velour and all I do is take just a little bit you don't want a whole lot and I get it on the end of my brush there and we get it right on the end of my brush so what I'm gonna do is go through here let me see if I can get it going good and this really helps clean up underneath I've already done this side I line it from here I just follow the natural brow line and it gives you a little brightness through there and it cleans up any mistakes you might have made along the way I can get it going here feels like a Monday I can't get nothing done hang on I don't have enough on here maybe I didn't get enough it's dark in here I don't like this light change this light change is getting to me now I'm gonna have to figure out what to do hey Kendall how are you this morning I'm not doing good now because I can't get this thing to work let me see there we go and I just take it across here and kind of fill in right underneath your brow and it will lighten it up for sure see if I can get a little bit more right there and then you can take the shader part of it and kind of blend it in and most of the time I just use my fingers to kind of blend that in and just gives you a little clean edge line and you're you're done you're done you're done so that's all you do simple 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 all I used was my prim pencil um, the perfect pencil I used I wouldn't use that but I would use this color prim uh, precision pencil and then I took my little spoolie comb your hairs down fill in go back and watch the beginning of this if you're just popping in and you fill in I, I like to go along the bottom I like to take little bitty baby strokes through here so it makes it look like I have little hairs there when I don't. Then I brush it back up and, and smooth it all out. And then I came back with my angle brush here and I took a little bit of forthright, this color here, and all I did was set it. I set it with the uh, eyeshadow instead of using a brow gel so if you don't have any brow gel you can still do it and this is going to set now because it's set into this um pencil here because you be be fast with it because these things do set within like 30 seconds so i mean you know have everything ready and just get it done and and then your eyes are all ready for the day but all right guys i gotta go to work now so i will see you later um <clears throat> i am gonna do a bulk order on friday which is tomorrow. So if any of you local girls want to order anything, I'm, I'm making a, 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 I've got a list of people that I've got to order for. So, hey, Tina, <laughs> how are you this morning? I'm, I'm talking about bulk orders here. I am making one tomorrow and I am using Square now. So I'm trying to figure out how to use that and I can send invoices out for the stuff that you need. And then I'm gonna order tomorrow because I've got to order some stuff for myself too. I just realized I need some more of this. I'm about out of this. I've, I've had this thing for about seven months now, and I'm still using it. So that's pretty darn good because it's little. Look, <laughs> it's little and it doesn't take much. 
So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, check out my website. Check out some of these new products that we have coming out. Me and my bold eyes today. And all I did was use addiction palette number one. These things are the bomb. If you don't have an addiction palette, you need to check them out. We got two new ones coming. I ordered a new one. I've got uh, the one that has the turquoise and the golds and the bronzes all in it. I can't wait to get that one. That one's going to be fun. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate the turquoise, but you know, these colors are fabulous. And today I've got on Sincere, I've got on Chipper, and I put just a little bit of Forthright right in that crease right there. And that's all I've got on other than eyeliner. And I used the color Perfect for that today instead of Proper. I like to change it up. I don't like to be the same every day. And I'm still loving my necklace. Uh, Miranda, uh, her little uh, Anna, Annabelle's Boutique. This is so cute. It's my initials. It's pink, and I got on some pink today. So, my TJ Maxx fine shirt. <laughs> Y'all love TJ Maxx like me? Uh, I got to stay out of that store. But anyway, guys, I got to go to work. See you later. Thank you.